Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Remick and welcome back to more Shenmue 1. Uh, okay, we're starting off, uh, heading off to bed. And it is, it's the beginning of the end of the game, basically. These are going to be the last five episodes, I think. At least five-ish. We've played this game a lot faster than I expected. Morning. My new job starts today. Anyway. Okay, what type of gang is it? So, we are immediately fast walked to New Yokosuka Harbor. Like, at the beginning of every day, so we, we can't feed the cats, sadly. However, we do get to participate in something pretty cool. Yeah, we race forklifts in the morning. Pretty cool. Good morning, everyone! Morning! Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yep. Yeah. We, we race forklifts. Like it's amazing. Always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the forklifts or the formula have your ass. Yeah. yeah. On your mark. Almost time to go. Right, let's win. Ready? Go! Yeah, so uh, you got a kind of uh, this is a real thing that's in the game. It's not like in Shenmue 2 where it's hidden away. No, this is a thing you have to do in order to actually complete the game. Uh, it's a shame there's no quick play mode of this because I would, you know, like to redo this. Uh, I know some people would as well, but you know, sadly that isn't available. And again, this game was made in 1999, so I'm going to put them some, if not a lot, of slack in the series. Uh, especially what this game did at the time it came out. Um, you know, there's no reason as to why, you know, it shouldn't be crazy. Seriously, game. Thank you. Yeah, I wish it was the designated honk button rather than just being forward on the uh, stick. Uh, I was never too good at this. I got first once. Uh, there are three laps to it. Uh, I will leave this in in its entirety. Uh, as for the working day, I'm gonna most likely cut it out mostly. Um, so I'm gonna go in editing wise, just kind of be silent the whole time until I meet my quota, uh, do whatever events or cutscenes that need requiring, and then kind of check my Snapchat. Because this part of the game, and again, this is only my third favorite game of all time. Uh, the, the working day is alright, but uh, that kind of you know freedom, uh, the time mechanic in this game is kind of what kills it. It, it's, it's its coolest feature and it's also its greatest downfall because the working day in this is so long. Um, I am going to do the bare minimum though. I think we need to move 10 crates on day one and the route isn't that long so uh, we should be good. But again that is all subject to change. I have to say though, uh, we might be getting lucky. I hate, I hate the geometry on these things. Like they're so they're so hard to like get on wedge. So you can cut a bunch of close corners, but normally you'd, I'd make them because like I don't know the, the game's got some weird hitboxes in places. However, we are six seconds faster than we were last time, and we have just passed into third. Um, every race, if we get a different position, we get a different number four cliff. So if I come in first, I get number one four cliff. Uh, things like that. Sure, I mean they're just cool little things that kind of encourages you to. Uh, Maybe not necessarily come first, but, you know, take your time and uh, lose a race or two to get all the collectibles. Which, I mean, I know that isn't for everyone, some people will be obsessed about getting all number ones, but, I mean, I think the race takes about the same amount of time every day anyways. At least as long as you're not in last. Uh, but again, I could be wrong. I'm not exactly uh, the most best coder in the world ever to exist, but... Ah, uh, it's a shame that that route was slightly ineffective, but we are coming in second. Even on a honk for a good measure. Uh, I'll, t I'll take second. Smash it into the wall last. Damn, we improved with every lap of that though. Oh man, so close, you almost had it. Here's your prize. Yeah. Thanks. Forklift number two. Forklift number two. Yeah, it likes to give you stuff twice. Anyway. Today, welcome. I'll do my best. 
Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. Uh, the quota is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? There we go. So we gotta move 10 of these crates. Uh, if we, I'm gonna move 11. But I'll do the first few just to let you kind of, uh, you know, see what this is all about. Uh, so I pick up the crate, I bring it around here. Uh, warehouse number 18 is on my right. Uh, so as the days go on, it gets kind of harder. But uh, yeah, you should be fine. Just kind of bring it down like so. And we are good for crate number one. That is pretty good. And yeah, you just kind of repeat this task over and over and over again. Uh, if you run into people, they do like vanish into thin air. Could theoretically be counted as murder, but... I'd be better kind of approaching them from a different angle, shouldn't I? Uh, okay, there we are. <laughs> if you, I like how the physics engine in this game just kind of doesn't care. It's like, eh, hey, I know what he's trying to do. Hong Kong. Focus number 35, though. Damn. <laughs> oh, gotta avoid the cat. Like, like I said, Rio's a good guy. We can't have running over cats be a thing. Anyway, uh, there we are. Hey, I'm actually pretty impressed with that work. So you've got to do so many of them, and at a certain point in the day, a event will occur. Uh, it'll always be set in stone, and it'll basically happen while you're moving crates from warehouse uh, number... We'll say today's will happen when I'm moving crates between warehouse number 18 and where, I, um, like where I've got the crates, basically. And there'll be a second event later in the day where I kind of will run into the Mad Angels around the harbour doing whatever. You already saw one of those yesterday. And that's basically how the rest of the game goes. You have a bunch of encounters with them, kind of gather intel, uh, you, you basically just learn about the gang as much as you can, so that you can kind of, uh, you know, eventually figure out where land is, stop something else that happens later in the game, I don't remember the specifics of that, but, yeah. I'd say, transferring crates on the first few days does not take too long. As you can see, hit right now it's just around the corner. Later on, they'll have me go from around where I am now, they'll have me moving the crates I put in here, to like warehouse number one, and uh, a bit brutal, but like I said, as long as I meet rope closer, I do get a raise. Uh, it's, it's very funny how uh, this game works, that, uh, minor spoiler alert, I will, uh, I'm going to spoil the feature of the game because I think it'll be a funny talking point. This game makes you work relentlessly for five days, and uh, <laughs> Uh, in the end, you don't even end up using the money to go to Hong Kong. Uh, I mean, you end up going to Hong Kong, but you don't need the money that you earn from this job. I, mean, I suppose you still got to work here for the, uh, whatever you'd call it, story progression. But, uh, like, the long ass working time and the massive crate quota, it, in the end, it's all just a bit pointless. <laughs> Which I kind of find funny because, it, again, it's basically real life. It's like, yeah, uh, we, we were going to do that thing uh, with this. Like, origi originally this did have a purpose, uh, now not so much. Ah. Anyway, I'll leave as much of this in as I can and then I'm off to do my Snapchat. Again, this route's so short, it just kind of makes me want to do the 10 crates and uh, leave. Like, what are we on that? We're on crate 6 and it's been 4 minutes since I started ish. Yeah, you can definitely feel time slow down while you do this mini game. It's a mini. It, does this count as a mini game? Maybe. Uh, can, I, can I chase him into the ocean, please? Ah, uh, what else is this to talk about? Yeah, there are two shifts to this, I think. I think, though, uh, I might. What I might do is I might uh, leave in the first shift, take out the second shift. I'm, it depends if it's on the same set of crates or not. I think it is. Did you take a break around 12? So basically I got like 3 minutes to deliver 10 crates. And then I got like... I got like 12 to 2 in game to kind of uh, do the thing. You know. Uh, research and uh, do whatever stuff I need. I'm not sure if in those 8 minutes I could make it 
to where I could go feed the cat. I would like to, but knowing this game, like, you know, half an hour in game time is going to be spent waiting for the bus. Because that's just my luck. Anyway, uh, I think we're on crate 8 currently, so... Uh, I, I could say we're making crate progress. How? I'll, I'll see myself out for that one. Uh, anyway, let's just kind of... There we are. Let me go put two more in here. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't had a run in with the guys yet. Like, as much as I would kind of like to bind my time down and not do the rest of the crates, uh, I kind of have to do them to trigger events. Which is a big tragedy. Because believe me, if I, if I was playing this game for the first time, uh, I, I'd do 10 crates and kind of believe it. Uh, again, I'm kind of lucky in the fact that, uh, like, when I first played this game, like, a year ago-ish, uh, like, I kid you not, it was around Christmas, so there were, like, no YouTubers uploading, nothing was happening on Twitter, this was, just moving crates was the only form of entertainment I had, so, uh, yeah. At, at least now I know a valuable lesson. Ish. So if I mow down more people, I will be very angry. Anyway, I'm crate number 10. I know, it's like, honestly, the way that this fork controls is kind of addicting. Would not fancy doing this for 20 real life minutes. I bet you'd basically spend 100, an hour and 40 minutes of real time in this game moving crates. At least hearing the same music kind of track. Come on. I, I, know, I know, you can do it, game. Let me in. There we go. We've got one minute left in time free, so I might as well kind of keep playing. Alright, well, we'll see if I can get, like, one extra crate in. I mean, why not? If I'm able to deliver all the crates, do so I get a super secret special ending in which they fire me early? Oh, oh yeah, spoil, spoiler, Rio quits his job. Uh, it's not, it's not like, you know, next game takes place in China. The, if you're concerned about spoils for this game, which I will try and keep to a minimum, don't worry. Uh, you know, this game came out in 1999, the second one in 2000 and, uh... 2001, I think, so, uh, yeah, uh, you've kind of had some time to, uh, play these games yourself, and the remaster came out in, what, 2018? Like, I remember someone saying to me yesterday at school, once you, uh, once it's been out for, like, two weeks, uh, you can't complain about spoils, unless, like, it's completely sold out for two weeks, in which case, yeah, sure. Anyway, oh, I'm out of the damn forklift. We... Damn, I can't go out of bounds. Anyway, there we go. Should hear the horn any second now. Mm. Lunchtime, eh? Alright, New Yokosuka Harbor. Here we go. Oh, quick time event time. Hey, my lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh, oh, really? I don't know. Oh, oh. hey, quit lying. Yeah, cut it out. What a useless twin. Man. We're gonna teach you a lesson. Oh, is that actual, it's an actual fact, isn't it? Damn. Okay, well, uh, it's been a while since I uh, got my ass beat in this game, so uh, it's time to beat someone else's ass for once. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I uh, map to these triggers. Uh, what? Oh, yikes. <laughs> Please. Oh, that would have been so funny if I was able to uh, do it. Uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, yeah, dodging in this game really doesn't have much of a uh, help. You know, it, it, does, it doesn't assist me. Oh, come on. I just want... Come on, come on. Um, there we go. I got the thing. I really need to level up my pit wall. Well, I am not dying to some street fog. Mom, this man's corpse is just getting absolutely demolished. Mom, please. How? He's like such a low level enemy. He took so many hits though. Okay, it's gonna reset, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's no way I can skip. Why? Why did it have to do me dirty like that? Hey, 
Hey, my lunch! You read it aside. Oh, I like how his lunch is legitimately just like a PNG Are on a you rectangle. One of chins, man. I don't know any chin. Oh, oh, really? I don't know. Oh. oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Seriously, why couldn't that be one of them out for the count? What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! Okay. I'm gonna go full button masher here. I hope you're ready. Okay, so far so good. It seems to be working. Uh, if I just mash all the buttons, I'm, I seem to be pretty well with that. Uh, again, I wish it. I'm mashing every single button that I know is uh, mapped to some form of move here. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, haven't taken one out yet though, but uh, let's uh, try some of those moves. There we go. Boom. I wish it was okay. We got one out. Come on. Oh, we. The more relenting my attacks, the harder it is for him to try and grab me. There we are. Well, let's uh, mash some buttons together. There we are. I'm, <sighs> damn. Oh, remember oh. this. Yeah. I, I remember I got to a point in this game where I tried fighting normally, and it just Thank you, Dio. didn't work. Who were they? They were the mad angels. Why are the mad angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen. And the Mad Angels. Anyway, what's in the notebook? Uh, that's not the notebook, we've got some fish. Okay, where are the Mad Angels? Master Chen and the Mad Angels are rivals. Right, so, uh... We're basically halfway through the lunch break. Uh... I don't see much else that I can do. Uh, we might do the second half. Uh, the break thing. If I do second half of the day another time. Oh, we'll talk to Tom, though. Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Rio? Are you in trouble with them? Nope. I'm just trying to find out about them. No, man. Do not go and get mixed up with them. They'll kill us. Okay, uh, but we'll ask Tom's assistant. I'm not even sure Honey what her son. name is. Hi, Neil. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? They ride motorcycles at night around here. At night? Neil, is something going on between you and them? Uh, no, nothing. I know you're strong, but I worry about you. Well, uh, how useful. Uh, hold up, can I actually go inside that building? Damn it. I saw someone go in and I just had a glimmer of hope for a second that there was an area I hadn't already explored in this game. It's a, it's a cat. Adorable. Ah, oh, seriously, I'm not sure what to do. It's just... Hmm. That's it, I am digging this music. Uh, no, I think we'll do it for good. We'll do it for old times' sake. I'm going to invest in the local economy by buying a knockoff Grape Fanta. I've already mentioned this like a million times, but uh, these drinks were originally Coke and Fanta. And some form of lemon lemonade, I think. Which is just funny. I mean, of course they couldn't get the licenses. Huh? Hey, a winner? A winner? Who do I take it to go win? I have a winner. I'm not... I've never got one of these. At least I ha if I have, I don't remember getting it, and I don't know what to do with it. Ooh. <sighs> Anyway, ah, good. They got a winning can, so uh. I remember seeing people get these. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use them for. So uh. I think though, if I head to the tomato place and I talk to the person, I have a vague memory of how to use them. I know you've got to talk to someone, and they give you like yeah, because there's this vending machine in here, so yeah. We talk to her, we give her the winning can. Yeah, sure, thank you very much. I'll take this, please. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Okay. So I was right. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna win. Oh, I, I, I get to actually pick it. 
I won. Whoa, okay. Wow, congratulations. Pick the one you like. Oh, okay, so you win, like, the things. Okay, so four. Red capsule, just fork with red, fork with booth, ferry or crane. Damn, okay, so if I win something else, it gives me different access to a different line. I'm not sure if I bought the crane or the ferry. I think... I, I know that game takes place in China, so I'm going to get the red fork. Which... Okay, this one. Here you go. Right, I'll have to buy more grapefruits from now on because... That is an interesting little thing. Uh, if I can read the price sheet, that'd be especially useful. Okay, yeah, so... They got... They've got, like, stereos and music packs, I think. Uh, what is up here, though? Oh, these are the, uh... Whatever you'd call them. What's this? Little snacks that I can buy for myself here. Uh, I haven't actually treated Rio to anything yet. Like, I, he's a hard-working man, so, uh... I'll nab myself some chocolate. And, uh... Oh, Shenmue chocolate, of course. I'll take this. Can I yeah, sure. Give Thank this you very to much. anyone in particular, or is this just for me? I mean, I'd be sure. down to... Draw a raffle ticket. Okay. Is this a bug or... I won. Okay. Wow, congratulations. So with Pick everything I buy, like. I get a raffle ticket, it seems. So we got um, MS cassette tapes, MS shower, hang on, S space Harrier. And... Oh, okay. Uh, I, I quite like okay, hang on music. This one. Here you go. Okay. So with everything I buy, I get cool and funky things. Oh, I definitely am gonna use the shops more. Uh, can I get myself a drink out of here? Uh. Yeah, so if, only if it's got the list thing, it seems. Yeah, oh, oh they have sliced fish. Uh, I'll buy that for another time, I think. Damn. Uh, so can I, can, can I eat the chocolate? Okay, so... What will I use chocolate for? Do I, can I give it to people, like, a drink or a snack, or...? I'm not sure. This is weird, but I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I think I've played enough of this today, 20 minutes. We'll do the other half of this next time, so I'm gonna uh, pause. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. So, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, hit turn notifications, and leave a comment down below. But with all that said, and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Remy. Peace out.